Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, greetings of the peace. Maqasidu sharia is the philosophy of Islamic law. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down this sharia? Why he sent messengers to us? What are the wisdom? What are the insights? Or the hikmah? Or the reasons behind them? Or what are the goals and objectives? That is the major theme of Maqasidu sharia. It is relevant to all the fields, particularly when we talk about the medicine or healthcare, it has a tremendous value and potential to enhance that field. In Islam, we believe the commands, prohibitions, divine instructions, or al awamir wal nawahi al ahkam al sharia al fiqhiya are not just for the sake of obeying or for the sheer obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, it is important. But it also important to believe that these um, al-awamir wa nawahi the commands and divine instruction or the divine guidance are important for a holistic well-being of our life in this world. Salah dunya also, it is important to achieve the success in the hereafter. Falahul Akhirah. In other words, the purposes or the maqasi highlight Islam's focus for people's well-being in this world and the hereafter. So let's go through Quran and Sunnah, which are the fundamental sources of Islamic law. Go from we get all the guidance. The Quran, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his teachings, which is the Sunnah. When we go through these two, uh, the fundamental sources or the references of the Islamic legal interpretation, and also the early scholars' work, we we understand that the Sharia came to achieve or fulfill uh, five matters, which are known as the al maqasid al khamsa, al kubra. The first thing is the Sharia came or the Quran came or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down his messengers to preserve and promote our faiths in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the deen. Deen is more than the, the so-called understanding of the religion. Deen means it's, a, it's about the worldview. How do you perceive the world, the reality of this world, the worldview. And also it is deen means the way of living. Secondly, the Sharia came to protect people's life, health, their body, their physical body, the primordial human nature, al-fitra, or the psychological health. Thirdly, the Sharia came, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to us the Islam to safeguard our family, our religion, sorry, our lineage, our dignity, which is known as hifl and nasl. Fourthly, Sharia came. The major higher objectives of the Sharia is to support the intellectual well-being, the psychological health, the mental stability, mental health. Fifthly, to ensure our security in terms of our wealth, money and property. Like other fields, this framework, the Sharia, uh, the maqasid sharia enhances medical and healthcare practices. For instance, hifluddin ensure the respect for the life, compassionate care, ethical decision making. The objective hiflu nafs undeniably which is related to healthcare. Hiflu nafs means preservation of the body, the health of the life. That is the, the major business in the healthcare or in medicine. Islamic scholars generally approve any new medical practices as long as it doesn't contradict with the principles of the Sharia. Because we believe that novel biomedical technologies help alleviate the suffering. It, it saves the life, which aligns with the Islamic principles. So from a medical scenario, healthcare scenario, whether it is a doctor or patient, when you make an action or inaction, if it is, you can see, you can make the judgment or the decision through the through the prism or the lens of the maqasid sharia there are two benefits. 
the first one it is in line with the sharia it is a faithful choice from an islamic perspective secondly it will tremendously contribute and, and benefit for the holistic well-being of the human life in this world and the hereafter let's explore more jazakumullah khaira thank you very much